Good afternoon, Alexis Love Beauties and Flawless Man. We're reading from our daily bread in Philippians chapter 3, verses 13 through 14. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Jesus Christ. It can be tempting to write off hope as weak. We often hear expressions like, I hope it doesn't rain, where hope is an ideal wish. But hope matters. Hope, love, and faith are closely related. They are the inseparable sister ventures, one stronger through association with the other two. When used together, these beautiful qualities multiply their power and result in an immersed strength. We preserve in the Lord with his strength, with this strength. Going back up into the reading in Philippians chapter 3, verses 13 through 14. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting the things which are behind. So there is one thing. We have to forget the things which are behind and reach forth to the things which are before. Press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Jesus Christ. So we know that God is in Jesus Christ. We also know that the Lord is asking us to forget the things that are behind and reach forth toward the things that are before us. We are able to, when we seek ye first, and we ask God what is the vision that he has over our life, and we come into agreement with that vision, his plan, his goals, then we're able to reach and we know what we're reaching for. It is easier said than lived to forget the things that are behind because some of those things that are behind are still present. And this is where we have to do that personal work, that inner work to say, you know what? It's going to hurt for me to cut this off. It's going to hurt for me to cut that person off. It's probably going to hurt for me to leave this location, but it is going to be easier to let go of these things to continue to take these things with us in our journey everything can't go everyone can't go and the mind that we have cannot go the way that we have been operating and living down here and doing things and handling business is not the way that God works. It's not the way that God thinks. It's not the way that God handle business. The Lord is in Christ Jesus. And if we are in Christ, then the Lord is in with us also. So we are supposed to look like the Lord. The Lord looks young. He looks beautiful. He has a glow about him. And we know this because we get this glow. We get this energy. We get this beauty when we are doing what we're supposed to do in the Lord. And the Lord told us in Jeremiah that when you do not, a contract spirit drives the bones, but love heals all. So the Lord told us that when you're not doing what you're supposed to do, then there is a decrease in your beauty. Your beauty is withdrawn. Your energy is withdrawn. All of these things begin to make you look older and stressed and you don't have the energy so we know that when we are doing what the Lord is asking us to do then we look beautiful so we know that the Lord is beautiful we know that the Lord is powerful we know that the Lord is energetic we know that the Lord is wise we are supposed to be grooming ourselves to be like God to live like God to look like God to feel like God and that's nothing but prosperity and health so the Lord is telling us to let go of the things behind us. That way we can press forward towards the things that are before us. Ask the Lord what is before you. That way he can give you that vision. Because sometimes we just be out here reaching. We be out here looking for love in all the wrong places. Looking for careers in all the wrong places. Looking for people to help us and to teach us and get us out of bondage and to fight our demons in all the wrong places. But we are responsible for these things. We're responsible to fight our own demons. We are responsible to get in covenant with God and see what he has for our life. We are responsible. No one is coming to Captain Save Us. No, they're not coming to do that. We are responsible to let go of the things behind us. And we're going to need some help doing that. So seek the help that you need 
to let go of those things. The easiest way that I was able to let go of things was to realize how much they hurt me. I noticed it's so many people talking about write everything down and it could seem cliche, but it's not. When we write things down, it actually does externalize. Now you're able to see what's going on in the in on the inside of you you're able to see what's going on in the spirit then you have a better idea of what you're actually fighting the person in their testimony said it can be tempting to write off hope is weak it can't be tempting to just be like looking what's going on in the world and not having an idea of the future it'll be tempting to just say me having faith or having hope is just weak it's not going to get me anywhere you know we talking about walking by faith not by sight but i'm seeing all of these things that's going on do not write off your hope as weak i know that some of us may still believe in true love some of us still believe in hope and all of the beautiful things of god and then there's people around us there's things around us that we're seeing that we might be engaged in that's not making it look so hopeful um people are beginning to get very desperate so people are marrying just to be marrying people are having children just to be having children this is on the men and the women's side people are literally giving up their hope hope they're giving up their faith they're giving up what the lord has gave them already in the spirit we do not want to do that having hope is not weak it is possible to have true love it is possible to be healthy it is possible to live the life that you desire to live because your desires matter also it's just the fact of there is more work that has to be done behind it it's just the fact of just because you're a child of God is not just going to be given to you so that's where we have to dig deeper we have to read more we have to pray more the Lord will help you as long as you want that help he said it's pouring his spirit out upon all flesh in his generation and we see that going on and we cannot get caught in a strong delusion we have to save ourselves I know we want to save so many of our family we want to save the people we're in a relationship with we even want to save our children every man when they are of age they are required to save themselves we cannot go before God and say, well, this happened because, you know, I didn't make it to this level because we there is not going to be an excuse. We all have our own souls that we are responsible for. And at the point of us having children, then we're responsible to help them and guide them until they go off into their own journey with the Lord. We're supposed to be grooming them to go off into a journey with the Lord, not just having these kids and then they figuring everything out and then they're being led astray. And then the enemy is able to use them. No, as a parent, we're responsible to train them in the way they should go. And then when they go that way, they're going to be going with the Lord. The person in their testimony said, we often hear expressions like, I hope it doesn't rain or where, you know, hope is like an idle wish. It's like something that'll never come to pass. But hope, love and faith, they all work together. You have to have hope. You have to have faith and you have to have love. It is all based off of what you believe. It doesn't matter what we see is what we believe. It's really what we believe. That's how the Lord works. He worked by faith. It's really what we believe. It's whatever you believe. If you believe there is true love, there is true love. Even though there's still been some bumps in the road. But if you still believe in true love, you're going to wait on that. You're just going to wait on that. No matter what is going on. This is just, what we're seeing is just prophecy come to pass, but we should not be afraid of that to where we settle because no man know the times of the hour and they're making it look like the hour is, you know, here because everybody is rushing because they, we have to mind our business and stay in our office. If the Lord has you on a path like he has me on, and that path is going slow, or it seems like it's going slow, it's really not. But that path may be you have to take 10 steps back, or that path may be you have to do a little bit more work or, you know, stay on the journey that the Lord has you on. Because it's going to be a thousand that fall at your side, and it's going to be another 10,000 that fall at your right side. But the things that's going on in the world, it will not harm us. And that only works 
if we believe that. And it only works with us being in covenant in God. We have to have the whole armor of God on. We have to have the spirit of the Lord on us. This is how no weapon formed against us shall prosper. So we have to actually believe that. Because it is the year of election. And like I said, I know a lot of people don't be in the politics, but we just have to be vigilant that every time around that time is something wild going on. And we used to think that, oh, this doesn't have anything to do with us, but it does kind of in a way. So we don't want to get sucked off into that, but we just want to keep our eyes open. And we want to have faith and hope that no matter who is running this country, that the Lord is still running our lives the person in their testimony said these beautiful qualities multiply and their power and result in a merge strength. Continue to have your hope. Continue to have your faith. Continue to be filled with love. Even when it seems like the enemy is just throwing hands and you getting knocked down and knocked down. Continue to get back up because a, a sinner is just a saint who got back up. So when you get time today, I encourage you to read Philippians chapter 3, verses 13 through 14, and just know that in order for us to go forth, we have to let things go. We have to let them go. Everybody can't go, especially the mindset. Definitely have to let go of the way that we think we know everything or, you know, we have to let go and we have to ask God for his instruction. Ask the Lord how he can instruct you to become the person that you need to so you can get the things that you need to to glorify God. I love you. Keep your hope and keep your faith.